the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, look with me in St. Paul's letter to the Romans chapter 2, verse 8. While for those who are self-seeking and who obey not the truth but wickedness, there will be wrath and fury. We always tend to uh, take the good part from the gospel where we get blessing, healing and all the blessings of the Lord. However, we uh, conveniently ignore those passages that warn us, that, lead, that call us for repentance, especially this word of God. It's very clear where St. Paul is telling that if you are self-seeking and you uh, indulge yourself uh, in wickedness, surely you will be punished. Uh, and uh, we need to be aware that equal to His mercy is also justice. So uh, let's have the fear of the Lord and uh, let's not be self-seekers, uh, seeking only our good and being selfish uh, and indulging in pleasure. But let's uh, deny ourselves as the Word of God would remind us, Jesus Himself, uh, those who want to follow me, let them deny themselves and carry the cross and follow. So let's take a warning against self-seeking, self, -seeking, self uh, uh, indulgence, selfishness, and uh, let's uh, let's reach out to the others out of love for God. May this word of God help you to change uh, uh, life and to live a godly life. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>